So what's up guys, Like and Strife here, and uh, yeah, this is still my 3080 in my, um, in my PC. Everything is nice and blue, because blue is a calming color if you ask me, especially when it's not so overly super light, uh, it's a little bit dark. Uh, I had a lot of problems with um, getting this up and running regarding the LCD screen and the LEDs in the um, 3080. This is the Aorus 3080 MasterCard. And uh, yeah, I found a fix for it just now. I'm gonna leave the link in my description below. And it's due to this person, which is a Wolfpack fanatic. Yeah, one of my wolf brothers. And uh, he has a solution for everybody that has problems with either the card or the RGB Fusion 2.0. And what happened, uh, or what, what fixed it for me, is not deleting the uh, AT tool um, folder or a specific DLL or doing lots of other things. I've tried almost everything. And well, here we go. Um, he just wanted to start this thread and see what's going on. He posted a specific link uh, regarding the GeForce driver that you need to download, which is the 456.55. That's the driver that you need to download. So that's this one right here. I installed it. It worked great. Everything's still working fine regarding my screen. And then I downloaded or reinstalled the Aorus engine again. And now we can go back to the Aorus engine, which is right here. We do yes, and here we go. So this is, it's pretty janky software. A uh, gigabyte, you need to get your shit in order, especially uh, making RGB Fusion work with um, the new updated uh, gra uh, graphics drivers update uh, regarding GeForce and all that stuff, and the NVIDIA drivers, stuff like that. Uh, so it's just pretty crappy that we have to roll back to a older graphics cards driver um, install file. See, it goes from blue to orange. There you go. Here we can have everything. Now, normally when this starts up, you only get like a gray screen. Um, I still don't have the minus function here, but that's fine. But at least we can put everything in that we want to, uh, which is cool. So I'm actually going to change all this to blue now. So we're going to change the eagle to blue and the VJ status to blue. And now we're going to turn this other thing to white. There we go. We're gonna press apply and it should be good. I'm gonna go out of this again, out of this again, and we're gonna go back to my card. And voila, now we have everything blue. Now we have the Eagle and the GPU temp letters in blue instead of white. And we have our little 42 degrees right here, which is saying, I think that's fine because everything is on silent mode, even though the card is on overclock mode. But you know, everything seems to work. So I'm really happy with that and we can continue using RGB Fusion 2.0 with the old driver of the NVIDIA stuff. So it's time that gigabytes, uh, Gigabyte updates everything regarding the NVIDIA drivers and that we're still able to use RGB Fusion because it's pretty much a very crappy program. Uh, internet is spammed full with people who absolutely hate this program, as do I. But at least we found a fix for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Wolfpack Fanatic, and please leave a like and subscribe. See you guys in the next video, and please stay safe and be nice.